Hi there YouTube. I've uh, been watching quite a lot of videos recently about people setting up their own solar power uh, systems. Uh, so I decided to set one up for my dad's shed uh, and I just thought I'd show you the result. Uh, what we've done is on top of the shed itself we've actually got a 20 watt panel uh, angled straight up uh, so that the shed can give it some light for most of the day uh, in the morning and in the afternoon um, if I go in the shed I'll show you what we got running off it at the moment uh, and how it's set up now first of all uh, up here on the roof I actually have a 12 volt uh, energy saving bulb or CFL uh, whichever you call them yourself uh, now that's running along a wire along the roof oh, oh whoops running down here across and up to this little switch in the door uh, so if I just do that off on it's daylight at the moment so you can't really see too much of a difference uh, but this here comes down into my charge controller which is a 10 amp charge controller now here we have eight uh, we have the standard wire straight from the solar panel which comes into the shed through this hole which I've put sealant on uh, stop any cold or rain getting in and I come straight into the charge controller here then along here I've got the connection for my battery now this is using 8 gauge car audio cable uh, which is actually safe for up to I believe about 70 amps uh, on a run that this short this is mainly for future upgrading now this comes straight down and into my 70 amp deep cycle battery now on each of the terminals I've got a double terminal block because back out of the battery again on 8 gauge wires which can take quite a lot of current comes up here and it goes into my mains inverter now this is only a small inverter it's uh, it'll convert 12 volts into 300 watts at 240 volts power uh, for safety I have also earthed this so this cable you see here goes straight into earth so any fuses in my plugs like RCDs uh, will work perfectly now at the moment it's just set up on a on a rough setup eventually this little four-way wire is going to be attached to the wall but at the moment it's currently charging up uh, one of my drill batteries it's also running this mains powered light it's a mains powered CFL and that's running perfectly fine from the inverter uh, also if I flick this switch we also have a small 14 inch TV in here uh, which doesn't get the best reception but just to show that's running um, essentially I can run anything I want off of that up to 300 watts um, eventually we're planning on putting a much bigger inverter in this space here probably probably 1000 or 2000 watt uh, just to get the most out of that battery um, and eventually we're planning on putting a uh, hundred watt maybe even 200 watts worth of panels on the roof of the shed um, and pretty much that means that any drills or you know any kind of power tools will run off it fine um, and also when the summer does get here uh, be able to uh, get the mower out on the grass um, also uh, my dad does a lot of planting hence the greenhouse over there um, so he wants to get uh, I think it's called an incubator which uses about 50 watts of power to heat the plants um, so for that we'll need to upgrade the inverter and the panels but essentially it means that in this shed he can have a little heat uh, for his plants at the moment I am cheating a little bit we do have a mains powered heater running off an extension cord that's running up into the house um, but that's purely because at the moment 
this system puts out 300 watts of mains power but that heater needs about 1600 uh, but once we do have an inverter to suit we could potentially run a heater in here uh, plus the fact that at the moment it is the middle of February and about minus three um, anyways just to give you one last recap this is the solar setup I've done I have my solar power coming in here it goes down into my charge controller which at the moment is just over halfway charged goes into the battery here uh, where is it? Ah, there we go which can come up into my inverter to give me mains power which is earthed for safety or providing everything is okay you know, or, or for lighting out of here I have 12 volts which comes up along these wires to this switch and then to the light so yeah 12 volt lighting plus at the moment 300 watts of mains power which as you can see is enough for running a TV lights chargers uh, and in the future I can upgrade as well so uh, thanks for watching